हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास डियर फ्रेंड्स बिफोर वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट द प्रपोजिशन इज फर्स्ट लेट अस नो वेयर एग्जैक्टली डू वी यूज देम लेट अस लुक एट द सेंटेंस द लैपटॉप इज लाइंग द टेबल now tell me does it make sense are we able to understand what the sentence is conveying is this sentence telling anything about the position of the laptop no okay now look at this sentence it says that the laptop is lying on the table Are you able to understand what this sentence is conveying now? Yes. It means that there is a laptop which is lying on the table. So you see the relationship between the laptop and the table is indicated by the word on. Which word? On. on is the preposition in this sentence so on even though is a small word but plays an important role in the sentence let us now look at another example look at this picture now tell me where are the shoes Yes the shoes are lying under the bench the word under tells us where the shoes are so under is the preposition here okay look at this picture now tell me where is the fan yes the fan is above the dining table please repeat after me the fan is above the dining table can you tell me which word is the preposition here yes the word above is the preposition here and tells us where the fan is so we have tried to understand the preposition through various examples looking at all these examples what do you think the preposition is let us sum up preposition is a word or a phrase that indicates the relationship of a noun or a pronoun with the other words of the sentence prepositions are used to describe location direction time and also used to introduce an object okay there is a very easy way to remember what the preposition is all about look at the word preposition the word preposition is made of two words pre and position pre means before and position means placement and so the name preposition remember prepositions are placed before a noun or a pronoun so in short prepositions tell us about the position of an object or a person got that 
One more thing you need to know about the preposition is that a preposition is always used with an object. Now you must be wondering what is the object of a preposition. Well, the noun or the pronoun which is used with a preposition is called the object of the preposition. Look at this sentence. The flowers are in the vase. In this sentence, the preposition in is used with the word vase and vase is a noun. So, vase is the object of the preposition in. Got that? Let's read the following sentences and see how prepositions are used. Pay attention to the pronunciation of each word. I am reading the sentences now. Please repeat after me. The dog is lying on the sofa. The sport shoes are under the chair. The fruits are in the fruit platter. The television is in front of the table. The poster is on the wall. The computer is kept on the desk. I am saying few words again. Pay attention to the pronunciation and repeat after me. Platter Platter Shoes Shoes Poster Poster Computer Computer Television Television Please note that in the words platter, poster and computer, last letter R is silent. Got that? Let us recapitulate. Recap is short form for recapitulation which means restating the main points. So let us see what have we learnt in this module. We learnt that pre means before and position means placement. Hence the name preposition. Prepositions tell us about the position of an object or a person. In our next module, we will learn about three prepositions between, behind and in front of.